Ladies and gentlemen, and fellow thinkers, I'm Isabella from S2C11. Um, let me first paint a scene for you. Imagine you are standing in front of a classroom, and when you are looking around, all students are sitting in rows of rigid and identical desks. Their faces are bearing the weight of conformity, and they are unable to break free or challenge the suffocating doctrines that wrap around their minds. So an oppressive force engulfs them, and their voices are reduced into mere whispers. So in many classrooms and institutions around the world, this concerning phenomenon unfolds daily. So indoctrination takes the center of the stage, joining out students' voice and leaving them no chance to speak out or question. So this is but one manifestation of the loss of critical thinking, the topic I'm going to explore in depth today. So, in an age characterized by the abundance of information and the lure of instant fulfillment, the tendency to, um, so, the, so our cr critical thinking is under siege. And this, it has far-reaching consequences, affecting our critical thinking, problem-solving, decision-making, and ultimately, the fabric of our society. So today, I will explore the, far, the underlying causes of this issue, its profound ramifications, and lastly, the strategies we can nurture and rekindle this indispensable skill. So let us first examine the erosion of critical thinking in our contemporary landscape. We live in an era where information flows incessantly, overwhelming us with facts, figures, and opinions. And also, the rise of social media have profoundly impacted our thinking patterns. So considering a typical social media user when they encounter news, they may scroll through, pausing only momentarily on eye-catching headlines or emotionally provocative news. And without delving into in-depth articles or exploring diverse viewpoints, they form quick judgment that aligns with their initial beliefs. So, this tendency to consume information at a superficial level have profound, have profound implication for our critical thinking and also um, have implication for the formation of well-rounded perspective. So the convenience of quick reaction and also rapid sharing can prioritize quantitative information over quality of information when it comes to information consumption. And critical thinking tends to take the back seat when we merely act with the um, ideas or knowledge that aligns with our initial beliefs and without delving into it and without thoroughly ex examinations. So um, while critical thinking tends to, um, so like the critical thinking tends to take the back seat and also, the digital age actually offers us unprecedented access to knowledge. It also inundates our cognitive faculty. So this beverage discourages us, um, us the deliberate and thoughtful thought, which is the heart of critical thinking. And also, another factor that contributes to the erosion of critical thinking is confirmation bias. So the sequential order of seeing and believing can be subtle. So beliefs are formed even before we seek for explanations or, ex or evidence and rationalization occurs all these events have taken place. So this suggests that brain analyzes and interprets events retrospectively, seeking explanations that align with their beliefs. So people tend to emphasize ideas that align with their beliefs and neglect evidence or explanations that contradict with it. So the consequence is a narrowing of perspectives and a diminished ability to objectively evaluate new ideas and differing viewpoints. So amidst these challenges, it is vital that we consider ways to nurture and rekindle critical thinking. And fundamental step, step is the reform of our current educational curriculum. As for our current education system, students actively seek for the final result um, and the final conclusion. So 
Um, have you ever asked yourself what brings to all these conclusions? And what is the inner logic of the, do of the experiment that leads to the final conclusion? So I think these are questions that are more worth considering than the conclusion itself. However, like, these questions are often ignored by the fast thinkers nowadays who only, who only care about the conclusions that will benefit them from testing. So um, we must place greater emphasis on teaching critical thinking skills from an early age. So encouraging students to analyze question and evaluate information will equip them to be a more discerning thinker. So bravely putting out questions during class and also putting out opinions in front of people is definitely a step forward to the um, restoration of critical thinking. Um, so media literacy education is also essential in helping individuals to navigate modern information landscape. This involves teaching people to recognize by the source and also um, fact check information. Media literacy empowers individuals to make informed decisions about the information they consume. Also, to combat polarization and promote critical thinking, we must foster an environment where diverse viewpoints are valued and also open dialogue is encouraged. So, also by engaging in civil discussion and actively seeking out alternative viewpoints, we can definitely break free from the echo chambers and expand our critical thinking abilities. So now you might ask a really fundamental question. How can people raise out question in the first place? And my answer is fairly simple, which is build curiosity. Curiosity is the fuel that ignites our critical thinking. It will drive individuals to seek out, question, seek out knowledge, question assumptions, and engage in deep thinking. Lastly, we must embrace the mindset of lifelong learning. So in a world that is constantly evolving, staying curious, reading widely, and discussing passionately, and remaining informed are essential practices that we can um, that can maintain and enhance our critical thinking abilities. So the lost art of critical thinking is a pressing issue that affects us all. However, it is not beyond recovery. So by recognizing the factors that contribute to its decline and taking proactive steps to nurture and rekindle critical thinking, I think we can definitely pave a way for a more thoughtful, informed and harmonious society. The importance, in the importance of critical thinking cannot be overstated, as it is the pillars upon which the uh, as it is the key upon which the pillars of informed decision making and societal progress firmly rest. Thank you all for listening.